Today we're making some beaded eyeglass holders. What you're going to need for this project are your tools, some beads, some 20 gauge wire, some black cord, some findings for the eyeglasses, and some springs. So what we're going to do to start are to make the treble clef charms. I have lots of tutorials on my channel for other types of charms you can do. I'll link them up below. I start by doing both of the treble clefts at the same time, so they're going to be the same size, and just get a round form just to make the center loop, separate them, and then make that full circle with the end of the sharpie or a pen. Just turn it all the way around, and after that, we're going to take our round pliers, hold the top, and center that circle. Wiggle it around so the wire is flat and pull it to the back. And after that, you're going to clip the end flush. From there, we'll get our flat pliers to pinch it in place. Just give it a little pinch, and then we're going to add a bead. So we'll take a six millimeter miracle bead hold it in place and then we're going to wind the wire around the bead to the front and then to the back. After that we're going to make sure it's in place and clip it flush. Use the flat pliers to pinch in the sharp end. So we'll make two of those and after that we're going to take some 20 gauge wire and form a loop on the end, wind it around, clip the end, pinch it in place so it's not sharp, and add some beads. I have miracle beads, and I have six millimeter, and I have also spacer beads. So we're going to bend the end, at a bit of an angle, and with the round pliers, wind it around to make another loop on the other side, and then we're going to wind that end around and clip it. So we need to make four pieces like this. Pinch the end in place, that'll be one of our connectors. So we have the treble clefts, the beaded connectors, some jump rings, the springs, and the eyeglass findings. So we'll take one of the springs, center the little loop, and then we'll open the loop, and we're going to put the spring end on the cord. I would add some crazy glue to make sure it stays in place and pinch the end. And then we'll do the same on the other end. You can cut a cord that's about 15 or 16 inches long. It depends on how long you want your eyeglass holders. So after that, we'll take a jump ring, slide it on the loop, and add our beaded connector. Close up the jump ring, and then we'll get another jump ring, put it on the other end of the beaded connector, and add our treble clef. So putting it in the bottom of the treble clef. Close up that jump ring and another jump ring. Open it up, put it in the top of the treble clef. Add another beaded connector and close it up. So from there, we're going to get our last jump ring and add the finding for the eyeglass holder. I'll link up below where you can find those rubber uh, eyeglass connectors. So there we go. And you add them both. And then all you have to do is take the end of your glasses and slide the rubber thing on there and just push up the spring to hold it in place. Put on the other one, and there you have your beautiful beaded eyeglass holders. 
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.